Hello, this is Mori 7 and this is how to defeat the Crystal Sage boss with spells. No melee weapons allowed. Now, if you plan on using sorceries, <clears throat> you'll find that the boss is actually a little resistant to sorceries. That should come as no surprise. But, the boss does not have any special resistances to fire. You can pick up the Great Swamp Pyromancy Tome out in the Road of Sacrifices, and you can... Uh, take that book back to uh, Cornix after you've rescued him, he, and take him back to Firelink Shrine, and you can learn the Fire Orb spell. And Fire Orb is actually very useful <coughs> against this boss. It'll do quite a bit of damage. <coughs> you can also get the Miracle Tome here uh, in Road of Sacrifices, if you like. But another thing that will greatly help is to activate the NPC. Uh... There's actually two NPCs in this area. One is just above the room that gets to the boss, that leads to the boss room. You'll find an NPC there, talk to him, he'll go to Firelink Shrine and you can buy spells. The other one is down below, just uh, below him. Uh, you have to be in Ember form to see it, but it's the summon sign for Igon. Now, <clears throat> Igon's summon sign will only appear here if you've went ahead and talked to him earlier on after you've uh, uh, after you've rescued that uh, other NPC you'll be able to talk to him if you haven't angered him yet and you can summon him for help you with the boss fight although you really don't have to summon him because the boss fight is actually kind of easy once you get used to it so when you finally get to the boss <coughs> Boss fight starts immediately, and he'll start shooting things at you. Now, these uh, spells are actually pretty easy to dodge. But just know that he will teleport around the room occasionally. Try to get in as many hits as you can while avoiding the spells. And remember, this guy he is a little resistant to sorceries. So... I would suggest using pyromancies if you want to use magic. Sorceries are going to do less damage than normal. In the previous you will, room, you will be able to find a, uh, a item that increases your magic resist temporarily. That item can actually be very useful in this situation. Because this guy deals pretty much only magic damage unless he decides to do melee attacks, which doesn't happen too often. But once you get him down to about half health, he's going to make multiple copies of himself, and he and the copies will attack you at the same time. Now, if you're having problems figuring out which one is the real boss, uh, the real boss shoots purple spells at you. The fake ones shoot blue spells. And also, the fake ones will die in one hit. They don't have, they only have like one HP. So all of the fake uh, bosses will all die in one hit. So if you still have problems, you can just lightly hit one of the other bosses and if it's, if it's a fake boss, it will die in one hit. The real boss is the only one that takes real damage. So wait for them to light up, and the ones that light up blue are the fakes, and the ones that light up purple are the, is the real boss. So, now you might actually end up having to fight through some of the fake bosses in order to get to the real boss. If you do, that's okay. This boss really doesn't have too much health. The only thing is you gotta make sure to not let the, uh, the fake bosses get you. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. Dodging the spells is pretty easy. And if it comes to it, you can always use the pillars around you to help you, uh, block the spells. The replenishment mural coal, needless to say, comes in really handy in this area. 
because it keeps you it keeps you healed up automatically as soon as you take damage so even if your health is already full it might be worthwhile to cast replenishment if you can and uh, after you're done you get the soul of a crystal sage and a bonfire make sure you watch my other Dark Souls 3 videos. I have a whole bunch of other videos out there, especially videos that talk about uh, magic and the sorcery class and all that stuff. So make sure you watch my uh, Mage Guide series of videos that tell you how to uh, be the best at being a mage. And also my boss guides. I have guides on the Estus shards and lots of things like that. So make sure you click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.